any questions here. Yeah, uh, just add on that. Where do you live now? Here. Oh, okay, got you. Um, I was going to say, how do you uh, handle being told no in a relationship? <laughs> oh. Um, it's really about the circumstance. I can really put my guard aside if you know it's warranted. Um, I take criticism, so <laughs> I'll be a little sad. I may give you a little attitude, like, like whatever. But I mean, I guess. Um. When you graduate uh, with your master's, what is mm-hmm. your plan after that? I'm going where God takes me and the money. Period. That's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, so I live in Baltimore, Maryland. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if you, how you feel about long distance. I'm actually not mad at it. Like he said, I'm pretty busy Monday through Friday, but you know, on the weekends and breaks, I have like to have a time. So. So you can hop on flights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got you. All right. Okay, it is time to pop one of their balloons and see which one is your match. I love Jesus too. <laughs> I just want you to know that I, I, I love that you said that. I'm here for it 100%. Honestly. Okay, so, so why'd you end up popping? Honestly, I just wanted to hear what you had to say. You said you popped his balloon because you said he was like slim. I'm a pretty skinny dude too. Like, you probably can't tell because the jacket, but. Yeah, I'm a pretty slim guy, so like, yeah, I probably wouldn't be a good match for you. Okay. So is he right? Is he is he your type? Or I like your voice. That sounds nice. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, Gerard, come on up here. Come on up, y'all. Let's head up here. <laughs> Why are you clapping? Right. <laughs> so, any final questions between the two of you? Yeah, I do have one question. Um, so, if I look on your Instagram. <laughs> Is it uh, a lot of thirst traps? Are you showing a lot of skin or? Do I look like I show a lot of skin? I don't know. You never mm-hmm. know these days. No. Okay. Very covered. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Follow me on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You guys, are, you're good. Okay. Well, with that being said, is it a yes for you for her? Um, I just don't like the way she just answered <laughs> that. Pretty much. <laughs> I really don't. What, what was wrong with how she answered it? It was like the, do you like the way I, like, I just. Do I like the, what did I say? It was the way you said that. You were like, do I look like I. Uh, mm-hmm. Right, because she was wondering I why know, you asked I that question. Do I like that? I mean, you don't present like that, but I feel like it was a reasonable question in today's society. I just mm-hmm. don't like how you. I can't wait yeah. till you see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let me have you head on back. <sighs> I thought we were there. Why'd you do that? All right. So that is all the balloons popped, unfortunately. But we do thank, thank you. you for coming on. All right. So let me let me rewind. Yeah, I'm gonna so rewind. I'll you show you what I'm pointing out. Right. I have like to have a time. You feel about long distance with your masters? What is mm-hmm. it? That makes I can really put my guard aside if. <laughs> oh. Got you. Um, I was going to say, how do you uh, handle being told no in a relationship? All right. So that question, how do you handle being told no in a relationship? I want to address that, right? How do you handle, we're talking about dating now. If you're dating and you know how people would basically say, hold on one second, this thing is, there you go. Uh So if you're, if you're dating and you know, people want to ask all the questions, you know, because somehow they want to, they're confused. They want to either be a detective or they want to be, people are very confused in the dating scene today. I think we can all, we can all agree to that. So, Ola, you don't know this, we are very confused. That includes you if you're in the dating scene, okay? If you have to say that, it's a good chance you're confused because the reality is that some people have actually figured out one or two things about this dating scene, Okay. Now, hopefully, let me just make sure that my stream is not bad because my bars are very low. Wait on one second. Uh, hotel, hotel, hotel signals are... Okay, it looks like we're good. All right, so we're good. All right, so now here's the thing. So people want to... They, they come up with like 100 questions. <laughs> they come over that okay maybe 100 questions then the more the questions the better as far as their brain is concerned unfortunately the human brain does not operate that way the more the questions the higher your level of fear 
uh, when it comes to dating uh, is essentially you're afraid and unfortunately when it comes to romance romance cannot thrive in a place of fear so it's like it's counterintuitive i get it that i should tell you to move in faith like so i should just cover my face and just go into the dating scene yeah precisely but not really okay not really that's not the point the point is that you should uh you should understand that you're not capable of what you are attempting to do okay you're not capable of what you are attempting to do which is to cover or to protect yourself from you're trying to engage relationship in a in a from a place of trust but you're but you want to protect yourself you want to verify the trust right so you want to ask all the questions so that question how would you what the best you can get as an answer from that question how would you respond to a no the best you're going to get is a lie any questions here yeah uh just add on that where do you live now here oh, okay got you um i was going to say how do you uh handle being told no in a relationship so how do you end up being told no in a relationship the best answer you're going to get is a lie because she's responsible for putting her best foot forward right so it's not even like she meant to lie to you it's just that she can't really tell you the truth she doesn't know the truth herself how will she and you the funny thing is that she actually did a good job uh, try to be as close as possible to the truth but i have a feeling that this man is operating from a place of fear it's a confident man it's, so that's why it's asking stoic right just ask all the right question <laughs> oh. um it's really about the circumstance i can really put my guard aside if you know it's warranted um i take criticism she said i can put my guards aside if it's warranted she says she takes criticism all of us hate criticism uh get this right get this straight all of us hate criticism rejection now we can have some level of self control we can be self aware and say let me listen but it takes it's not it's not natural okay it takes self control to be criticized and want to listen it actually takes criticism it's not something that happens naturally so now in the, she said it depends on the circumstances basically what she's trying to say like about you go still collect okay if you if you come for me just because you have because uh, you think you're correcting me or something like that you go still for that now here's the thing he could tell <laughs> so i'll be a little sad i may give you a little attitude like whatever that's the closest to truth she's going to tell you she's going to be sad a little bit of attitude but i mean i guess she said but i guess like why are you saying that she's already feeling some type of way um it's a good looking man a confident man it seems right because some women will actually fall for this what's wrong you know what's wrong is that means it's controlling no wait now until you are inside the bed with him and then we'll see how you receive it at that time that's why i said when she said it becomes the circumstances she's absolutely correct this is the closest to truth you're going to get in time of answers when you graduate uh with your masters what is mm -hmm. your plan after that I'm going where God takes me in the moment. All right, so I'm going to fast forward to the point where he actually popped the balloon. So everything looked good. They pulled him to the forward, and then he asked another <laughs> question. <got> right. <laughs> so any final questions between the two of you? Yeah, I do have one question. Um, so if I look on your Instagram, <laughs> is it uh, a lot of thirst traps? Are you showing a lot of skin or... Like what kind of question is that? Why don't you wait until you check? What are you afraid of? Uh, if you if you really like what you see, like what you see, like what you see. If you like what you see right now, why not go for it? And then you're you're going to see the Instagram page. You know why? Because fear is a bastard. Oh. Yeah, fear is a bastard. But let's see how she answers. Those questions will put a person, even a man, will put a man on the defense. You're not going to get their true colors. If you put them on the defense, they're going to naturally protect themselves from you. Like I show a lot of skin? I don't know. You never know these days. No. Okay. Very covered. Mm -hmm. She said very covered. It's not a lot of confidence in that, right? Not a lot of confidence. Very covered is also subjective. What do you mean by that? Is she covered right now? There are people that will look at those arms and those shoulders. Like she's not covered. So why is she saying covered? She's on TV now. 
on a whole YouTube with how many views? Uh, how many people have seen this? 684,000 people have seen this. How covered is that? Isn't that subjective? That's why it's a stupid question in the first place. Because that question is subjective. Question is asking for a subjective opinion when it's actually posed off as a yes or a no question. This is a very lame behavior when it comes to dating. These are the things that people are struggling with. So they will struggle with this and then they'll come back to me and say, Allah, you don't know these dating I said, uh, you don't have to tell me more and more. Like, I know what you're dealing with. You're telling me right now, <laughs> right? The more the questions you have for a dating scene, pre-notion, preconceived questions, the worse you're going to be on that date. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> she said, follow me on Instagram. Okay. You guys are, you're good? Okay, well, with that being said, is he it didn't a like yes that. for you for her? Nah, he didn't um, like that. Oh, I just don't like the way she just answered that. Uh, he didn't like the way she answered that. Of course he didn't. I could have told you from the first question, but it's okay. Pretty much. <laughs> I really Now, this guy claims he's 26 years old too, so a lot of people don't believe him. But maybe he is. You never know. But anyway, Dele says it's essential for fathers and parents to actively participate in their children's lives to foster healthy dynamics that support the framework of their development and relationship. Absolutely. Uh, welcome, Natu. Good to see you, Natu. All right. That was that. I just wanted to share that lesson, you know, but he will claim to be the confident man. Okay. Now, in your opinion, what do you think about? questions when you're going out on a date right questions how many questions is ideal to take to get prepared for yourself when you're going out on a date in this modern dating scene when everybody just the collect left and right woto, woto, how many questions do you think is ideal that people should bring along with them to make sure that they don't end up with a red flag how many questions right so, but also, what do you think about those two questions? How would you reframe those two questions, right? How do you handle no within a relationship? What, what would I find on your Instagram page when I go there? Could you have answered it better if you're a lady, the way that lady answered? If you could, please share that with me, all right? I'll come into the chat and comment session and look them up later on. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, turn up your notifications so you're notified when we go live. I'll be right back. Hey, Prestige fam, show some love to the video. Hit like, subscribe, and share. Are you in Europe, America, and struggling your relationship? From argument to abuse and trust issues, we're here to help. Lola and I founded uh, Prestige Marriage Academy to transform your story. With 20 years of friendship, 17 years of marriage, experience with navigating the ups and downs of marriage, and personalized coaching includes 24-7 support. Ignorance is expensive. WhatsApp us at plus one seven three two three zero five eight five seven seven to book a free discovery session today and take charge now. Don't wing it. Join us in creating the love life you, you deserve. deserve.